For five seasons and for many TV reunions, Susan Olsen was my TV daughter. And during that time, there was one thing that everyone knew. Susan loved animals. I actually have memories of learning how to walk holding onto the dog's back. And um, so I always said that I have Ellie Mae Clampett syndrome because I, I love critters. On the show, Susan got a lot of opportunities to act with her favorite furry co-stars. For the episode where Tiger has puppies, um, they brought in puppies actually from the animal shelter and used them on the show. And um, when they were done filming with them, I think there were five or six, they were giving them away. And um, Mike Lookinland got a puppy. And I was like, I want a puppy. And so I asked my mom if I could have um, the little girl puppy. And um, at the time, Eve Plum was asking her mother for the puppy. So my mom said, well, if Eve can't have it, you can have it. And the next thing you know, Eve's crying. And I'm going, hooray! Susan always had a hard time saying no to an animal that needed a home. Susan's love of animals didn't end with the Brady Bunch. Today, she plays mom to families of foster kittens. A friend of mine that was like my best friend in high school, I hadn't seen him in 20 years. And he sent me an email one day about how the shelters need foster parents to take care of the little kittens that come in that are too young to be adopted and they, they still need to be bottle fed and they need extra attention. And I was looking at this email and thinking, a house full of kittens? Yeah, <laughs> I think I want to try this. Susan's work fostering kittens inspired her to create a blog which offers advice to cat lovers. I found myself constantly, you know, searching online for, um, for advice on, on kitten care. So I decided to create a separate blog just for the kittens and, um, and for other people that are cat crazy and particularly foster parents so that we can share ideas. If Brady Bunch fans in seeking me out find themselves at this cat blog, great, you know, because a lot of people don't know that the foster kitten program exists. You can always come to my blog and get advice and always, I mean, I, I'm not good about answering fan mail at all, but I'll answer anything when it involves the kittens. <laughs> Please welcome <laughs> Susan Olson and some of her furry little friends. Oh! They are having a wonderful time here, aren't they? Oh, well, that this one's, one's, she's sitting quite, quite nicely, or he is. Um, actually, I think that one is, okay. <laughs> you have to look. That, yeah, they're, they're markings. That one is Captain. He's probably oh, too terrified Captain. to move. Don't um, move. You know, I, I've always known how much you love dogs because you gave us oh, our darling. And horses. Thank you. You've always loved them. But I didn't know you had such a love of cats. I love all things with fur, even <laughs> some creatures that don't have fur. I'm just... I have Ellie Mae Clampett syndrome, uh, and I, I love animals, but um, yeah, to me, cats are really the easiest pets to have, uh -huh. and some people don't like them, and you know, that, that's okay. What is okay. involved, Susan? Here, I'll take you, sweetheart. Yes, what, that, what is that involved one's very with special. fostering kittens? Tell me. Well, what we do is, um, you, you do have some training. You uh -huh. go through a seminar, which is, it varies from state to state in different shelters, but mm -hmm. um, couple of hours of, of training, which to me went by really fast. Um, and you learn the basics of kitten care. Uh -huh. and, um, and then they do a background yeah. check to make sure that you're not running some exotic restaurant and want the kittens for the next <laughs> meal. Um, <laughs> How much time do you, do you have to devote to, to raising well, each litter I'll tell of you, new kittens? When, when they first come to you, if they're still needing to be bottle fed, they're not yeah. weaned, um, if they're two weeks old, it's bottle feeding every two hours. It's oh like a baby, yes. only it's several babies. Um, three weeks old, every three hours. You try to get them off the bottle as quickly as possible. I'm sure, with those and, hours. Uh, yes, and, and get them to lap their food. And then once they're weaned, and they're, they're very easy to litter box train. Once they're weaned and they're eating from bowls and they're trained to use the litter box, then it's just fun. You just have these darling, beautiful little creatures. Yeah, how old and your are these little creatures? Whoa, <laughs> baby. Oh, come here, honey. How old oh. are these, these little guys? Um, these guys, you'll be okay. Okay. 
These guys are um, just shy of 12 weeks old. Now they're they're mm. a little extra ripe. Um, I like to get them back to the shelter when they're when they just hit two pounds because mm -hmm. at two pounds they can be spayed and neutered, and the, the shelter wants to make sure that they're spayed. Right and neutered because this is the problem that we have here. This is why we need foster parents. Right. Um, there are too many little kittens being born. Right. Sure. Can you show me how you would bottle feed this I little? I sure can. Oh, would there, you like a bottle? There's our other little creature. Come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now what you do. I feel like Jay Leno here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll do my Jack Hanna now and let them okay. all get lost. Um, here. What you do is put the, put the little bottle to the mouth and you can't really expect them to take it. You have to get a little squeeze mm -hmm. to get it going. Squeeze their mouths? Oh, squeeze the bottle. Oh. So a little bit comes out. Oh, look, and look. Yes. Oh, how sweet is Isn't that? darling? Oh. And when they're teeny tiny and they grab that bottle and they suck so hard. They're just like just a little so baby. Cute. Yes, how, they are. Susan, and, hmm. how can people get involved in this fostering program? I, I think it's very, very important. Well, um, Actually, I, this, is, this is why I wanted to talk about this, because if I had known that such a program existed, I would have gotten involved years ago. Um, all you need to do is call your local shelter. Most animal shelters have a foster program, mm -hmm. and you call them up, and you tell them that you want to be on a list, and either through phone or email, mm -hmm. they'll let you know when the next seminar is. And that's for orientation and training. Mm -hmm. So you go to that, and then you sit by the phone, and you wait for them to call you and say, we have a litter. <laughs> yeah, and then you get your first litter, and it's scary, scary. I bet. And you fall in love, and you want to keep them all. It's like having a new baby, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. It is. And then, you know, oh, it's, it's okay. like they say with the first baby, you know, okay. the, if their pacifier drops, you sterilize it right. and give it back to them. By the fourth baby, you just pick it up, lick it, and shove it back Here. in your mouth. Um, <laughs> it's, it's sort of that way with litters. You know, I'm, I'm less, um, I'm not I'm doing less this neurotic. <laughs> But, um, but you do, you know, you do have a tendency to fall in love. There isn't a single kitten that I've had that hasn't presented some reason to me for, for keeping them. Well, tell, tell me about your blog. I know you have a blog that deals with this. Well, I, you know, I, I blog regularly anyway because I love to write. And um, once I started getting involved with these kittens, they, you know, the joke became the kittens ate my blog. And um, so I decided I really wanted to create a blog that was specifically for kitten care and, and um, you know, aimed a lot at foster parents. Mm -hmm. And um, my intention is to make it a place where we could come, share stories, um, share advice, mm -hmm. share anecdotes, what worked for us, what didn't work mm -hmm. for us, and, um, and, and share laughs and pictures. And also when our little babies go up for adoption, then we put their um, ID numbers up and their pictures and say, you know, what their personality traits are. Because with with the private organization that you do fostering for, you, mm -hmm. you might get to meet the people that adopt. But with the regular animal shelters, they're actually a law enforcement agency, so it's all anonymous. So, uh -huh. um, so there's really not a voice out there to say, this one's especially loving and great. Uh -huh. So you know, you come to my blog and you might, might find a few that are in your area. Susan, thank you so oh, much for thank coming you. and sharing and look these it, beautiful I want you little babies with us. Had this one been a girl, would have been Florence. Look at look at the beauty mark. It's not on the bottom of the lip, but <laughs> has a beauty mark like mine. I have my little mole too. Uh, all right. Well, you can name it. Florence after Florence Ziegfeld. Why not? <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. She'll think about that one. <laughs> For more information about today's show, go to rl.tv.